Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben and this is my review for Still, a Michael J. Fox movie and Apple original film. I'm very excited to talk about this one. Let's jump in. Still follows the life of beloved actor and advocate Michael J. Fox, exploring his personal life and professional triumphs and travails. What happens when an incurable optimist confronts an incurable disease? So it's a 15, an hour and 35 minutes long, and there's almost two stories in this documentary. It's the story of how Michael J. Fox became an actor that became uh, one of the most famous in his time and then kind of teetered off because of what happened in his life with Parkinson's. So we get to see how he came into the limelight and what his personal life was like. And then we get to see how Parkinson's was in that and how he hid that for so long and the reasons why he did that. And so you have Michael J. Fox being interviewed as he is now uh, with Parkinson's and we see the struggle and what he has to go through day to day and can be quite heavy at times but then we get to see it interspliced with his acting career and his personal life and that of his family life. It's a real personal look but it doesn't feel intrusive, it feels like it's him telling us, giving us permission to watch this. It doesn't outstay its welcome either at an hour and 35 minutes long. Some documentaries really take their time. Some on Netflix, you know, have uh, three to eight episodes long being an hour long and they really kind of stretch out. That's not the case here. We get right into Michael J. Fox's life. It's, it's a personal look and often quite heavy at times. But there is an underlining triumph of spirit here that I really appreciated. So as long as the heaviness is there, the the fight that Michael J. Fox has in him showcases is showcased very well in this. So by the time you finish it, you feel sad that he's got it. But the way he's fighting, the cause that he's since had, the fact that he's gone and acted and carried on even with his Parkinson's, not letting him not letting himself being defeated by it and uh that's not to say he's had an easy time you can see what he's gone through in it uh i just thought it was a real nice stark loving look at giving something to his fans as to you know what he went through why he went through it and it's put together in a loving way that someone that obviously loves the man but wants to tell an honest story not always painting michael in the best light but giving an honest look at it Obviously, every documentary in the world is skewed to the director's point of view. Their their objective is to tell the story that they want to tell. So it's honest, but with their point of view. And at no point did I think in this that uh, there was any kind of lie in it. I just felt like it was an honest story, a very personal one. I really enjoyed it. It, it went through really quick. You know, there were moments where I was just like, yeah, that's so honest. That's so raw. That's beautiful. But then seeing his fighting spirit in that, I was just like, yeah, blown away by the, the strength of a man. And it encourages you. And that's something that I think that we could all use more of. Um, coming away from watching something that builds you up even though that you know that you have to if you're struggling with whatever sort of disease or life ailment or you know life is, is, is tough and then you come away from watching something like this that kind of lifts you up and gives you like a will to carry on and be stronger I think that's a testimony to probably what the director wanted to en encompass in this and I got this, the feeling that that came across really well um, I wouldn't mind watching it again. I think it's done fantastically. I'm going to give it a four and a half Nicolas Cage's out of five. <laughs> and you got one. A fantastic doc. Definitely well worth your time. Thanks so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know your all time favorite appearance of Michael J. Fox because he's done movies and TV series. I mean, everybody's go to is going to be, um, most people will go, you know, Back to the Future. But are there some others that you just loved him in? Um, he was in a couple of... Uh, it was a character in The Good Wife that I loved his character in that. I thought it was fantastic and flipping great acting moments. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.